hello guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial in today's class we'll be learning how to drop this trendy free dress with a gathered chest line cut if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my returning subscribers welcome back to my channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification for whenever i upload new videos so without further ado let's go straight into the tutorial With me here, I have my scissors, my chalk, my tape, and of course my fabric. You're going to need about three yards of um, crepe fabric to achieve this design. So the first thing we are going to do is to cut the upper part of the dress. Then this is my fabric. This is it in full. I just cut a straight piece and um, cut enough that I can just take the upper chest of the dress this is the fabric in full I am going to fold it into four I'm going to cut both the front and the back together because um, there's no zip allowance for the back so I'm just going to cut everything together I'm just going to fold it into four like this make sure everything is aligned and then we'll begin to cut to draft the upper part of the dress i'm just going to draw a straight line indicating our shoulder line like this make sure it's straight i'll just go ahead and make sure all my lines are straight and if you notice the upper part of the dress where the gathers has been attached to it stops at the chest line and the bust measurement we're using here is 41 and the formula is um your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 and here we have 8 inches so i'll just mark that down all round like this all round i'll just go ahead and connect all the dots together like this and the next thing we are going to do is to impute our shoulder measurement and the shoulder measurement we're using here is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 plus half an inch joining allowance making it 8.5 so we're just going to mark that all around here 8.5 like this and then We'll connect the lines together like so on this shoulder line we're going to come down by one inch indicating our shoulder slant and then the neck width we're using is four by four inches that is four inches wide and four inches like this i'm just going to square that up so just to enable me get my neckline accurately so i'll just draw the square like this and then i'll connect my shoulder slants together like so After doing that, I'll go ahead and connect my 4 by 4 inches neck width together with a curve like so. Also, if um, we're going to be using a different neck width for the back, for the back I'll use 2 by 4, that is 2 inches deep and 4 inches wide after marking my two inches i'll just connect to the connect it to the four inches mark with marks for the front and that is it for our neckline next thing we're going to impute our bust measurement and the bust measurement we're using is 42 divided by 4 is 10.5 we're going to mark that here and we're going to use allowance of 1.5 that is one inch sewing allowance and half inch um allowance in the dress so that is um 
11.5 total i just marked that here and the down part we're also going to have an allowance of 1.5 that is half inch shoulder joining allowance and one inch joining allowance in the down part of the dress making it one and a half we are just going to draw that straight like this also draw a straight line to connect all the dots and then i'll go ahead and extend our bust measurement down and that is it for the upper part of the dress the next thing we're just going to cut it all through like so cut cut and cut cut through the arms we need to cut it together like this and also the shoulder joining we're going to cut the shoulders as well but before you cut the neckline notes that uh that part of the neck is is not as deep as the front but so we're not going to cut both of them just be very careful at this point make sure you cut the back first so you won't make a mistake and cut the front and the back together and have a low front and back so i'll just separate the back from the front and keep it aside before going ahead to cut the front part of the dress the front neck of the dress so i just pick up my scissors and cut out the front neck separately from the back like this so that is it basically i'll just place them together so this is it cut this is the front and also the back i'll place this aside and then work on the down part of my dress the down part of the dress it's very easy you know the upper part the bust measurement we cut on fold was 12 inches in total that was your bust divided by 4 plus 1.5 but when you now open that 12 inches that is 24 when it's opened so that is what we're going to use to cut the down part of the dress so that is that 24 times 2 making it 48 but then the what i have here is um the, my maximum fabric basically is about 50 inches so i'm not going to cut anything i'll just use my maximum fabric so i'll just go ahead and fold my fabric into four just to enable the cutting but basically what you're cutting for the down is your upper chest and bust measurement times two whatever you have as is open that is 24 times two making it 48 the next thing we are going to do is to draw a straight line making um marking the beginning of uh down part of the dress like so mark a straight line and then the length we are using for this dress the total length is 39 and you know the up part we just cut was 8 inches which was our chest cut 8 inches so that is 39 minus 8 making it 31 and joining allowance up and down that is 2 inches 1 inch for up and 1 inch for down making it 33 inches so we're just going to mark that down here like so mark 33 inches all round so our new length here is 33 so i'll just mark that here 33 no so i'll mark here 33 like this is that simple and then i'll just connect the dots 
together like this and that is it for the down part of the dress basically the next thing is just to cut through we'll cut the our length cut it all through and also the upper part also the up part of the down part of the dress so note that you're going to cut two of these that is one for the front and one for the back so whatever you are cutting here you're going to cut two of it hope you understand that is one for the front part of the dress and the other for the back part of the dress so that is it basically cut cut and cut so this is the two piece of my damper cut together i'll just place this aside and work on the sleeves to cut the sleeve i am going to fold my fabric into four i'll first of all fold it into two like this and then i'll fold it again into four that is because i'm going to be cutting both of my sleeves together two sleeves together so after folding it into four i'm just going to place it on my table like this and arrange it make sure everything is flat and neatly placed so just arrange it when i'm done arranging the next thing i am going to draw a straight line marking um the beginning of my sleeve <laughs> where i'm going to start drafting my sleeve and the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the length of the sleeve and the length i'm using here is 14 inches and you know this sleeve is not exactly straight it has a balloon effect so i'm going to be adding um five inches that is sewing allowance inclusive and also i'm um, going to have um a casing where i'll impute my elastic so 5 plus 14 is 19 but i'll just add one inch making it 20 just round it up to be on a safer side so i'm just going to mark that 20 all round like so and then i'll the next thing i'll do is to connect is to mark my sleeve cap height which is four inches i'm just going to mark it like so and then um i'm going to impute the length of my sleeve what they call it this uh, arm length and to find the arm length i'm going to bring my upper part and measure around my arms so i can get it accurately while sewing so what i have here is 10 inches i'm just going to mark that down on my arm length on the sleeve cap height so I'll just mark 10 inches and then i'll draw a straight line from the middle point to the 10 inches mark i have marked on my sleeve cap height and then i'll find the middle point and mark middle point on that middle point i'll go up by half an inch and also mark from there i'll create a curve create a curve like so and at the hem of the sleeve um i'll just use the maximum length maximum width rather let me just check what i have here is 15 that is perfect 15 gives a balloon effect so i'll just mark that 15 there and then connect to the connect it to the 10 inches mark which i marked earlier like so and that is it we have our sleeve perfectly drafted like so so the next thing i'm going to do is just to cut through start with the length of the sleeve cut all through like so so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you find my video helpful 
and if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and if you haven't subscribed i'm judging you you have to subscribe because you're going to learn a lot on this channel so guys stay tuned for when i upload the sewing tutorial of this dress you're going to love it i bet you will love it see you guys in my next video thank you bye